Welcome to Mr. E-Science Theater presents Percent Composition. Percent Composition is a way of expressing the ratio of elements to a compound by mass. And so the formula for finding percent composition is fairly straightforward. Percent composition is simply equal to the element mass within a compound divided by the total mass of the compound. That will give you a fraction. You will then convert that to a percentage by multiplying it by 100. So for example, if I want to find the percent composition of copper 1 sulfide, then the first thing I want to do is I'm going to find the total mass, which in this case we call that the molar mass. The mole, try this again. Molar mass, molar mass, there we go. The molar mass is going to be, I've got two coppers, so it's going to be, pull out my periodic table, and I find copper is 63.55, and sulfur is 32.07. So I've got 63.55 times 2, that's my copper, plus 32.07 is my sulfur, so I get a molar mass of 159.16 grams. That's my molar mass. Now to find the percent composition, how much of it is copper, I simply take the mass of copper, which is a 63.55 times 2, that's 127.10 grams of copper, divided by the total mass of the compound, 159.16 grams of copper one sulfide, and that's going to give me a number 0.79852. I convert that to a percent by, say, moving the decimal twice, so it is 79. 0.852 percent copper. To find the percent sulfur, I simply take the sulfur mass, the mass of the element sulfur, 32.07 grams of sulfur, divided by the total mass of the compound, 159.16 grams copper one sulfide, and I get a decimal point two zero one five. So that is 20.15 percent sulfur. That is the percent composition. If I've done it correctly, I should get 100% when I add those numbers. Now there's going to be a slight difference because of rounding. And you'll notice this one has five sig figs and this one has four. The reason for that is because the calculation involved, uh, remember with division, that's what a percent composition is, with a division problem you keep the fewest number sig figs. So here we have five in the top, five in the bottom, so my answer should have five. Here I have four in the top, five in the bottom, my answer should have four. That's how that works. But if I add these two together, I can see that I get 100%. Let's do another example. Suppose I have a sample that contains 28 grams of iron and 8.0 grams of oxygen, and I want to find the percent composition here. So I'm given the, the mass of each element within the sample, and I want to find the percent composition. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the total mass. That's pretty easy to do. It's just 28 plus 8.0 is 36 grams. So my total mass is 36 grams. Then to find the percent iron, I simply take the mass of the iron, 28 grams of iron, divided by the total mass, 36 grams, and I get 0.78, or 78% of the sample is iron. To find percent oxygen, I take the mass of the oxygen, 8.0 grams of oxygen, divide by the total mass, 36 grams in my sample, and I get 0.22, or 22% oxygen. And again, you'll notice the two numbers do add up to 100%. Now suppose I wanted to know something like how many grams of copper metal are in a 38.0 gram sample of copper 1 sulfide. Well, I'm going to go back to, oops, that's the wrong one, go back to my copper sulfide where we found the percent composition. Here it is. So we found that uh, in copper sulfide, copper one sulfide, it's 79.852 percent copper. So I'm going to take 79.852 percent copper and my 38 gram sample. I'm going to do a little bit of math. 
I'm going to convert this to a decimal because whenever you do math with percentages, you always convert it to a decimal. So I'm going to take the percentage, 0.79852, and I'm going to multiply that by my total sample size, 38.0 grams. And when I do the math there, I find 30.3 grams of copper. So I simply take my percentage that is copper, my percent composition this copper, multiply by the sample size, and that tells me the grams or the mass of the copper. And that is how you solve problems involving percent composition.